Hi, Michael Fagan, Chagas here on the Newford Suckler to Beef Demonstration Farm at Narai County Galway. Today I'm going to give you an update on the Newford Calving performance of 2022. Newford Farm had 93 cows to calve down this spring, including 17 in-calf heifers. All of the cows and heifers were in calf to five-star terminal bulls such as Fiston, High Deal, Gstead, Lor, Kilconley Codaline, Tom Choice Lixcon and Edendale Ivor. At housing, all the cows were penned according to their body condition score and were allowed feeding rates to match their intake requirements. All the cows received 100 grams of pre calving miller on top of their silage each morning and a light layer of lime was spread on top of the stats daily to reduce the risk of bacteria building up in the shed such as mastitis in late pregnancies. This practice also helped to keep the cow's tits clean and dry, which had a big advantage when the calf was born. All the calving sheds were power washed, disinfected and bedded down before the start of calving. The first calf arrived on Newford Farm on the 27th of January and the last calf was born on the 5th of April. And at six weeks into calving, 89% of the herd had calved down and all of the 93 cows had calved down within 10 weeks from start to finish. The average weight of all the calves born on the farm was 42 kilos with a calving score of 1.2. 82% of the herd calved down with no assistance required, or in other words, 76 cows out of the 93 cows calved down on their own. At the end of the calving season out of the 93 cows, there was two sets of twins and 89 live calves. Unfortunately, the farm had six cases of mortality, five stillbirths and one calf at two weeks of age. All of the cows calved in the straw bedded calving pens, and when the mother and calf were fit to be moved, they were transferred into larger straw bedded sheds. A strict code of calving hygiene practices was put in place, including placing foot bath facilities at the entries of each shed to prevent the spread of bacteria from one shed to another and cut out the risk of scour. This proven to be an excellent routine with little to no infections occurring on the farm during calving. When the calves turned 10 days of age, they were transferred to the main suckler shed where a temporary creep area was in place. The cows were penned on the slats and the calves had access to a straw bedded area set up in a passageway through a creep gate. This practice was a great saver on straw and labour and once again all the slats received a light coat of lime daily to prevent infections. This Charlie bull calf, Cyberdermalop Mat, of a 6 calver Arbley Nangus cross cow was born on the 4th of February at 49 kilos with a calving score of 1. This fine Charlie bull calf, Cyber Lapon, of a 5th calver Arbley Nangus cross cow was born on the 27th of January at 43 kilos with a calving score of 1. This limousine bull calf, sired by Laurel, of a fifth calver Hereford Cross cow, was born on the 1st of February at 43 kilos, also with a calving score of 1. On the 28th of February, the first of the 36 cows and their calves went to grass. They had to be brought back indoors once at night time, and this was only for a short period of time. All the calves were vaccinated against pneumonia and received their clostridial vaccination along with being horned as they came of age. All the cows had access to mineral buckets since turn out to grass to prevent grass tetany. By early April, the majority of cows and calves were at grass and some of the cows had started to cycle and come in heat. These heats are being recorded to access breeding activity and pick up any early potential issues. This year's breeding season will commence on the 20th of April. For further information, follow us on www.newfordsupperbeef.ie.